Bale and Ronaldo may go separate ways. A lot of speculation in Spain that Real Madrid may well get rid of one of them in the summer. So it begs the question, if you are a manager, which one would you sooner buy? Would you sooner buy Gareth Bale or Cristiano well, Ronaldo? You, yeah, but you, you've nailed your colours to the mass yeah. nice and early. Well, they both, you know, Manchester United have been linked with, um, with the both of them. So if I was Manchester United, which one would I go for? I'd go for Gareth Bale. The reason being, I don't think Ronaldo... Ronaldo's the better player. Let me get that, I think, personally. So you're saying that you wouldn't sign the player who is arguably the best in the world? Because I think a Manchester United in this current period of the time under Louis van Gaal, I don't think Ronaldo would fit in to the way Manchester United play. Because I think when he loses the ball... You know, does he get back? Does he work hard enough to go and retrieve the ball? Could he I not play through the centre? Possibly could. But would he fit then? Well, he's not. He plays wide, doesn't he? So for most of his career, he's played wide, doesn't he? So you could play him through the middle. But I'd go for Gareth Bale. Who would you go for? Well, at the moment, at this moment in in, in time, I'd go for Ronaldo. Right. I think he's still got two years left in him at the very, very top. He's only 30, is he 30, yeah. 30? Four years between them, what isn't it? What type of club are we talking? Are we talking about... Well, you're talking about Man United. Are you talking about any club? Any club, Any yeah. club, for me, I'd still go for Ronaldo. I don't know what Graham would say. I think there's, there's so many goals in him still. He's as fit as any player out there in this Premier League at the moment. And he will remain that. He's a fit lad. He's not somebody that's, you know, physically going downhill. He'll still, play, he'll still be playing really well when he's 34, 35. So the next two years, I'd go for... For uh, Ronaldo, Bow in four years' time would be in his peak. Who would you score for? Well, I think you've summed it up. Ronaldo, you'd take Ronaldo as a, as a here and now better player if you're talking about you know a couple of seasons. But for the long run, you'd probably say that he he's more of a. So you're in Van Gaal's office in in July, and you get the call from George Mendes and Gareth Bale's agent. They're both available. You've got to buy one of them. Which one are you going to go for? For the same money. Well, yeah. Well, no. Whatever. Yeah. The money would be, be, be won't be a lot in it, will it, for, for either of them? I wouldn't think it'd be a, that different. How old are they? There's four years between them. I think Ronaldo's oh. thirty, Bale's twenty-six or twenty. I'd probably 30. go for Bale then. Would you? I'd probably just yeah because of, you, you're going to get four years more, aren't you? Scorsese. I think I'd still go for Cristiano. Mm. Is he not the best player in the world? Yeah. Or one A and it's by one far. Well, I'd say by so far. So why would you get Bale then? Oh, with Messi. You're only having him for a few years, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. three years. He's guaranteed goals, isn't he? Bale has injury problems. Hasn't got anywhere near like the goal scoring record of Ronaldo. But do you think Ronaldo could fit into that team? Van Gaal's team? I'm not sure if any of them could. Uh, you just don't know with an attacking player, do you? No. But look at the attacking players he's got rid of. You talked yeah. about Di Maria, Yanezai. Yeah. That's what I've said. You just wonder, that's why I'm thinking maybe Robin, who's played for him, yeah. they might have a little connection. He's Dutch. Maybe that could work. But see, still, I, I'd like to see Robin two or three years ago, not now. Would yeah. you play Ronaldo through the middle if he came back? If yes. you were Van Gaal? Straight yes. through the middle? Straight through the middle, definitely. Yeah. But who's going to pass the ball to him? Scolzi, because yeah, Michael said he can still do it. Yeah, he's going to pass the ball to him. Ronaldo in, Scolzi back, bang. And then your little cameo from you off the bench after your two goals in the day. Sounds good to me. Yes, but well done, boy. If you played Ronaldo for a bit on that team, he got him back, would he not get frustrated? Because who's going to, if Carrick's out, who's going to pass the ball forward? Good question. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. I do see him now and again. Now and again, yeah. That's why he's, well, he's in good form. I think Bale, you bring Bale or Ronaldo, you have to play him straight through the middle. Yeah. he played play Bale there too? Yeah. Yeah. You have to in this team, but would they get the ball? That's the question. Correct, Paul. <laughs>